gents, welcome to Inventor 2017 and the 3D sketching enhancements. There's a lot in here. There is a lot of 3D sketching enhancements. And the fact that my 3D sketching tutorial is the most popular video on my channel goes to show that it was in need of a bit of an overhaul because 3D sketching is a bit of a mystery to most people. It's clunky, it's awkward to use, and it was in need of some uh, some development time. And it's got that. Whether or not this has made it even more complicated for newbies that's going to have to be fleshed out over time. But we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Right, so some of the new enhancements in 3D sketching. The interface in general has been given a bit of an overhaul, right? So when you select a line and you start drawing 3D lines, the, the, the coordinate system, your triad, is it's been refreshed. It's been modernized. So it's a lot more user-friendly. It's a lot larger. It's uh, it's it's a lot more simplistic than it used to be. So you've got your blue, your Z, your, your, your red for X, and your green for Y axes, and everything looks a bit... just more straightforward but on the right click menu you've got a couple of extra options align to plane orient z and orient to world so for example if you want to draw some 3d lines which say for example follow the same angle as this say this angle face here so what you can do is you can say angle uh, or align this uh, this coordinate system to a plane select that face and it'll align your coordinate system to that face and now any lines that you draw will be on this, you know, you can snap to these standard axes and they'll be on the same orientation as that flat face. So you can start sketching away uh, with these things, uh, the lines aligned to that face. And then you can say, right, well, I'm done with that. Let's align to another plane, uh, plane, click that one there. And then you can start drawing a line to that face as well. So that's pretty good. Once you're done with that, you can just say, right, click, orient to world, and it'll put the coordinate system back to the way it was, which is aligned to your standard X, Y, and Z axes in the uh, the origin folder your standard part x y and z axes so everything's up down left right in the right direction that's that right what else is on the uh, the right click menu uh, we had uh, an orient z well that just allows you to instead of selecting a face that allows you to orient the z axis to either a center line or an axis or an edge and it'll reorient the the, the entire triad based on just the z axis so you've got that option as well all right, let's undo some of these lines. Let's, uh, let's not make it too messy. Right, when you're uh, when you're in the middle of doing some 3D sketching, you've got this status bar at the bottom where you have, for example, ortho mode. Ortho mode, anyone that's come from AutoCAD will be familiar with ortho mode, orthographic mode. It just basically snaps your lines and forces you to draw on the horizontal and the vertical. So if you enable, well, actually, let's show you what it's like without ortho mode on, right? So you can click and draw a line and you can go in any direction that you want. You can go all over the shop like this, right? So that's not a problem. That is not a problem. With ortho mode enabled, Let's, uh, let's hit that on, hit the switch. It does have a sh keyboard shortcut, but whenever a keyboard shortcut's got two buttons, it, it sort of ceases to become a shortcut in my eyes, but, you know, some people prefer them. So you can turn on ortho mode, and now when you draw a line, you can see the line is completely restricted to being up, down, left, and right. So you can go this, this, dish, boom, 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 up, down, left, right. And you can go, you can go up, up the Z, along the X, and along the Y as much as you want, but you're still restricted to sort of horizontal and vertical directions which is good for things like center lines of tubes and pipes that kind of thing if you're rooting out a scent line for something it's going to be really useful for that because you could have you could do this before but it was a chew it was a real chew it was a case of drawing a line uh, and then kind of uh, let's turn ortho mode off and then you would have to sort of let go of the mouse as it snapped to an axis and then made sure as you as your hand left the mouse that you don't knock it off the axis and then you oh, flipping heck man you'd have to go back on it and then uh, try it again so that's, that's good. That's a good little addition that they've put in there. And we've got some new constraints in the 3D environment as well. And these are, these are, these are really nice. I'm actually really impressed with this. So, for example, let's, let's, draw, a couple of, uh, let's draw a couple of lines. And uh, let's, uh, let's orient the, 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 uh, the coordinate system to a face. And let's draw something which is about across there that'll do all right so what these constraints are these allow you to constrain sketch entities 3d sketch entities to existing faces on your model so for example we've got this constraint here which is called on face right which uh, all puns aside and all um, double entendres aside let's uh, click on face you select your line pick your face and it will then constrain the line to be parallel with that face so you can see now that the line is uh, it's it's almost like it was 2d sketched on that face uh, but then you can continue your 3D sketch and snap on there and then draw off from that line that you've just constrained to that face. And that line is now always going to be constrained to that face. You can pick up the points, pull it around, and it's always going to be angled 
to that face because it's constrained onto it. Some of the other new constraints that we've got here are such as constrained sketch entities to axes. So for example, we've got constrained parallel to the X, Y, and Z axis. So the way that works is pretty simple. You'd select, for example, the X axis, constrain a sketch entity to the X axis, you'd pick a line, and you can see from the preview what it's gonna do. That red line there is the X axis, so it's gonna constrain that sketch entity to the X axis, and it'll do the same thing for the X, Y, and Z axes, 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 yeah, that. All right, let's do another bit of a cleanup. Let's get shot of some of these lines. Right, the next one, this is phenomenal. This one is so useful. This this is the cream of the crop out of all the new additions to 3D sketching. Draw curve on face. It's so simple. It's like, really, this wasn't in here before. It's taken till now for this to come in. Yes, I don't care though, it is so good. So draw curve on face is exactly what it says it is. You'd select this button here and it allows you to sketch a spline on a face, it will snap to that face. Look at this, look at this. It is actually snapping to the face. Oops, I've just clicked off that face. That wasn't a good start, that wasn't a good start. Let's do it again, right, draw a curve on a face. You do have to make sure uh, that you don't snap to any faces behind the one that you're currently attempting to snap to. Uh, and I guess, I guess it's, there'll be other people out there who've used other card packages and they're like, this is really nothing new. <laughs> We've been able to do this for years. Well, yeah, well, in inventors just kind of play catch up at the best of times. Uh, then you click the tick button, and then look at that, you've got your sketch on that face. And then you can use that as a sweep line, you can use that as a percent line for points or something like that. It, its uses are endless, really, depending on what you're doing, obviously. But that is that is a really good command. So that's draw a curve on face, and that'll work on pretty much any face in the in the part file. Providing that you snap onto the right one, just be careful about what you are actually snapping onto. Don't do it in a hurry like I am, because you can see what's happening here. It's trying to snap to that inner face behind which is just gonna send the line off this face and then onto the face behind it, which um, is gonna, well, you can see exactly what it's trying to do. There is a no no way that is gonna be the desired result that you're after. So you're just gonna have to be careful with that. And I think the final, the final utility of note that's new in 3D sketching is, again, it's another big one. It is a really good one. It's called 3D Transform. And this allows you to pick up any 3D sketch entity, whether it be a line, an arc, a spline, anything you want, right? You select the line or a point, right click on it, and then you've got this option here, 3D Transform. And it's quite similar to some of the, the freeform tool edit commands that you've got. Yeah, it allows you to pick up a point or a line and then you get your X, Y, and Z arrowheads and you can just grab the arrowheads and sort of pull things around like this. You can move them up and down and you've got the rotational uh, grab bars here as well which allow you to you know, move it around depending on what it actually is. It might, this this line uh, snapped to the face so it's not letting me pull it off the face which is good, I like that, that's a good thing. Uh, but you can pick the arrowheads up and move things up or down uh, based on uh, either just free drag or you can type in absolute values down here in the direct input. So. Tell you what, 3D sketching is looking really good. It is looking so much better than it used to be. I think there's so much new in this uh, 2017 release that I'm going to need to do a whole new 3D sketching tutorial from scratch and uh, obsolete the old one that I've got on the channel. So look out for that coming soon. That's 3D sketching new in Inventor 2017. If you like that, do hit the thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. Put a comment down below if there's anything you want to say. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Toodles.